Good evening, fellow modelers. This is episode two of the Airfix 1 and 48 scale Fairy Gannet build. And instead of bore you with all the small details that are out there, I thought I would uh, kind of start building, and you can see it's all out there on the on the table but I thought I'd start building it and put together some of the basic pieces so that when we actually start putting the aircraft together it's a little bit more interesting so what I did is I've started and, I, and I'll show you a little bit of this but um, I've started with putting together the weapons bay and the landing gear the front landing gear uh, section and the wing spars and part of doing this is this nice little um, piece here this nice nice little section um, that allows you to put the weight uh, into this box I think I described it a little bit on the uh, on the the first episode saying how, how well they designed this so that you could put these items in with weights uh, considered as part of it and I'm going to show you how I did this weight uh, scenario here in one of the other boxes so there's three total boxes uh, that you can put the weights into and uh, you're supposed to have 67 grams of weight if memory serves correctly and I don't know how much I'm going to put in but I'm going to put in probably more than needed so there's these boxes. Uh, there's a box that will go here. There's a box here. There's this box here that allows you to place uh, weight into them. So what I do is I take some of this Gorilla Glue here. And I first kind of uh, coat the inside with it uh, somewhat liberally. It's about the only thing political that I'll ever say. Um, and you hear that going off in the background is my airbrush because I've been doing a little bit of airbrushing with this as well. I'll show you in a moment. So I'll spread that out in order to kind of get that first layer to stick in. All right. And then I take my liquid gravity. Now liquid gravity is nothing but a bunch of little bitty metal balls. Um, it is some great stuff and I've had this probably for oh eight or more years and this is probably about as much weight as I've ever put into anything so I'll put a layer in of these liquid balls I'll kind of shake it a little bit to get it down there and then I'll go ahead and put another layer of glue now some people will use PVA glue for this or they may even use um, what is in essence uh, super glue but I kind of like the the gorilla glue because it's a little bit cheaper and um, now it does create a little bit of a mess when you put it in second and third layers but you can with this particular setup you can really kind of scrape it off a little bit and you get that you get that next layer in there and again it doesn't have to be perfect okay and then what that does is it allows me to put another layer of these lovely little balls in here and I'll shake them down now this last layer of glue is much easier to put on because you can kind of level it across so we'll just put in too much perhaps there we go and I'll do this off camera but I'll do it a third time on that front box see here we go now I'm gonna have to be careful when I show you this next part because I do want to show you what the weapons bay looks like right now but there you go so I kind of mixed it up a little bit so I get the glue down in there and then I could just kind of scrape it off the edges and you know what it kind of looks like it looks like and I'm definitely not an eater of this but I've seen it before it looks like a little caviar going on there all right so there we go with the there's some some serious weight in there now the way airfix has designed this is absolutely 
um, fabulous once again. So there's a, a track to go in that will go on. Here, let me move that up a little bit. There's a track to, to go in right here that will go on right there. There's another track back here. It goes right on top and pretty much caps that off. Is what it does if I'm careful enough it will cap it off like that that's exactly what I want out of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some modeling glue in here just to help me out a little bit and then I'm going to make sure, kind of bend down here, if you will, and make sure that that goes on the track like it's supposed to and sits in there. And once I got it in, and it's not as tricky as I'm making it out to be, it really isn't. But once I've got it in, what I will do, I want to. There we go. It's in. So I will then take we'll take these clamps. Make sure it's in the back track. In there. The mid actually it's the middle of the back track. And then I will clamp that down got to be kind of careful because there's actually another track here that I need to there we go I, I don't want those pieces those uh those little balls to come out because technically they are still able to come out and then what I'll do is I'll just hmm, that's not going to work right Maybe I'll just hold it for a moment. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I can hold it for a moment. Um, there's a little bit of a cap there. But what I wanted to flip it over a little bit and show you what I've done on the, the other side. So we've got the, the weapons bay all painted up the right colors. Um, I appreciated it with, uh, with black. And then I sprayed the Mr. Color 128, I think is the number, over the top of this. Then I'll put a wash on it. This is the front landing gear bay um, portion of it. So it gave us the top wall. I'll do some dry brushing on it, but it also gave you side walls on here that I haven't put in yet. And that's um, that's kind of the the what I've been doing with this kit right now is I've been building what I call these sub assemblies to just kind of um, I need to make sure that that's aligned. Hold on just a moment here. There we go. Um, been building these sub assemblies just to make sure that you know that we can um, work with things you know when, when it's time to actually for example put it into the aircraft that it's ready to go and I'm under no illusions that I'm not going to have to do some touch-up painting or something along those lines but you can see that when you get the sub assemblies going it kind of makes things go a little faster so what I've done is I've created I mean all these sub assemblies here's your flaps and these flaps have gone on perfectly and the way that that Airfix has designed them is the seam line if you will which is running right here is actually a panel line so I will have to do nothing to that except for paint it I'll trim up here on the back side just to make sure they they work well um, here's some of our rudder pieces um, again you know they, they put the I'll have to trim up a little bit on the front rudder side, but actually this is not the rudder. I'm apologizing. This is the horizontal stabilizer, but I'll have to trim that up and, you know, sand it off just a little bit, but the rest of it um, won't need to be because it's a, uh, a, a flap, if you will. I've also gone and put the strengthening plates inside of the wings and punched out the holes for um, 
the rocket pods. Now you might remember from my first episode the issue where one of my rocket rails was broken and so what I've decided to do to fix that is there's actually five rails that can go on each wing. I'm only going to put four rails on each wing and that will solve that problem. So I've also gone and uh, done some painting on the inside, some black basing on the inside just to get ready for that. Um, and just um, a lot of different uh, sub-assembly pieces. You know, so here's some pieces from the cockpit um, that I put together. There's actually pieces on the cockpit that have been put together. So this is what I call my halvesies. You know, if you've watched my F4 Phantom build or another build that's like that, what I'll do is I'll just go through the instructions and I will do as many sub-assemblies or half and half, you know, like wing, top, wing, bottom type pieces as I possibly can in advance so that when I come to that assembly, it's just bing, bang, boom, and it goes together. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm doing with what we've got here. I'll let this dry overnight and then I'll start some dry brushing on the cockpit. I'll start uh, snazzing that up a little bit. So the next episode will actually show the cockpit and it may even show it going into the fuselage. Um, that's how fast this is uh, actually going. And because it's going so fast, <laughs> you know, I warned you, um, I am considering going ahead and building out the weapons bay with the uh, with the weapons bay open because one of my concerns about doing the weapons bay was the fact that it was going to take a while to do and um, from what I've seen so far the detail is fabulous and the aircraft is going together so easily and so well um, that I don't know that I mean I, th I think I'm going to have the time to do it that I may not have had um, or may not have thought that I had uh, before and man I'm sitting here looking at looking at something and I'm really kind of hoping that I didn't make a mistake let me kind of look no I did not I was afraid I had those wing spars on upside down and I did not um, the way they were going they, they're kind of angling downward and I was afraid oh no you know when you kind of look at something you're like oops well see there you get you get the, the rawness, if you will, of taking a look at this. So anyway, um, you know, just a final, I guess a final piece of something I've been working on is, you know, again, um, these are the weapons bay doors. I appreciated them black on the um, inside and then uh, lightly went over, over them. Uh, but again, I mean, these are two pieces. Uh, they went together so easily and the painting was so easily done that, again, it's just kind of like, real quick real fast it's happening so all right this is the update for uh this will go out released on december the 23rd 2023 and it's moving along quickly and it's not only moving along quickly it's moving along very easily uh, things are going together very very well so keep uh keep hanging in with us and you know there's a very real possibility by christmas day which would be the video that's released on December 26th, that we could have a fuselage together and wings kind of together too, the way things are going. This is uh, a, a nice, smooth build. So, talk to you later.